you're a ham radio operator and you happen to live in an HOA like I do, we have to be pretty creative about how we put up our antennas. So today I'm going to show you how I put up mine at my QTH and I do live in an HOA unfortunately. I'm also going to give you a little tip here that I learned from my days being a telecom equipment installer back in the day. Stick around. Let's set this thing up. I'm Brian, KC9USB. And it's not POTA time, but something like that. All right. All right, so let me give you an idea how I got the coax run. Pretty easy. I just got it coming out of the window well. And I got a little gap there. And it just comes straight across. And goes under, comes up, and then goes to... Try to get this in focus here for you. Goes into a surge protector slash lightning protector from Palomar. And that does hook up to a ground rod. The other side, the coax, then runs up. I have it kind of behind this tree here. Goes up along the fence. I have it along the fence. Comes all the way, oh, it's my dog. That's Winchester. Coax then, it's got it right in the top of the fence there. Nice and easy to get to if I need to. Still kind of hidden. Then, where it ends over here is where I set up my antenna. Quick disclaimer, I'm not endorsed, sponsored by, or any of those other things. Uh, from any manufacturers, retailers, or anything like that. What you're getting here is just a honest opinion. As in my previous video, um, as I stated, I'm using the TN07 My Go To Antenna, which comes in this nice case here. So let me pop this thing down on the ground here. All right, so I'm gonna open up the case here. Two copper rods. It's one, it's two. Gonna set those off to the side here. And the whip, set this off to the side also. 25 foot cable going between each copper rod and your IMD, your impedance matching device. So as I mentioned earlier from my uh, telecom days, what I do on any of my connectors, whether that be the coax, whether that be uh, even the antenna, where the antenna screws in to the IMD, pretty much every place that I use any kind of that two dissimilar or similar pieces of metal that go together, I use what's called NOAX. And it comes in a couple different configurations, but this particular one, there you go. It's kind of like a paste, but it also comes in kind of like a clear liquid and comes in all sorts of different kinds. But this really helps out so yeah, I use that between pretty much all my connections, especially the coax and antennas outside here. So let's get this thing set up. I'm getting bit like crazy. Always wrap up my coax pretty well here with tape since we are getting a little bit more rain than we were before. And what I like to do is just to kind of save my back from bending over a little bit too much here. I actually just go ahead and I just hook this up now the coax to the IMD, get a little tight. Let the fence hold that for a second while I get out my electrical tape. And by the way, this, these, all these connections already have the NOAX on it. Let's tape this off. And the way that I like to tape these things, by the way, I try to tape it in the direction to tighten the coax. So in other words, I'm not gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way with the tape. That way it's tightening, it doesn't loosen up your coupling and whatnot. Yep, and I always kind of leave myself a little tail here so that it's easy to get off when I need it to. All right, well, we're running out of daylight here, literally. I'm gonna pound this into the ground. And this area next to my fence here in between me and my neighbor, this is actually an easement. And I did have this surveyed to make sure that there's no underground lines, so even though I'm only going in about six to eight inches there. So I'm gonna go out from the fence just a little bit. All right, and then this, your IMD. Give myself a little bit more room on the coax there. Just slides right on to your first copper rod. That hooks on right there. And then we got this 25 foot, not really sure exactly what you call this, but radiator. It's not a counterpoise or a radial from what I understand. This is actually part of the shunt fed 
antenna system. Just gonna throw this out here a little bit. I'm going to very carefully take the screw, the lock washer on the top here. Do this very carefully so I don't lose anything. All right, that's in. Okay, gonna grab the other copper rod here. I'm gonna go down, pound this in about 25 feet. A few moments later. All right, so I got that other one pounded in. So you've got, you got the cable, or the, I'm sorry, you got the uh, 25 foot radiator or whatever you want to call it going off here. Your first copper rod, coax, runs along the fence here. I have this cable tie here just to kind of keep, help keep this kind of taut because it will droop down a little bit and comes all the way almost to the end of the fence to the other copper rod. And this is pointing almost directly south. And they say that this is kind of a directional antenna and I've kind of found it to be. Let's throw on the whip here. We're almost out of daylight and the mosquitoes are out. <laughs> I'm getting so bit up. And again, the whip, I got no locks on that. It just screws right into the top of the impedance matching device or the IMD. And we're gonna get the whip up. All right. And the whip is up. It is leaning a little bit, but you know what? Good enough. Okay, so down here in my QTH, these are my windows from the window well and here in the basement. And basically got the cable coming in. That's part in the mess here. And I got that coming in to the Comet window jumper. And then I'm waiting on ABR to send me my cables. So I got a little bit less cable because as you can see down there, I got a big, well, it's acting as a choke. So I guess it's not too bad, but it's my battery box. And then here we are. Give you guys an idea. That's what the package looks for, for the uh, window. Yeah, works out really well. Um, I will just forewarn everybody to not slam your window when you are putting these in. Just close it as gently as you can to where it latches and you shouldn't have any problems. The, these have worked out really well for me on several windows that I've put cable into the house using. So this is uh, Montana. Kilo, Charlie 9, Uniform, Sierra, Bravo. Okay, I think it's uh, Kilo, Bravo, Andy and Bravo. Kilo, Charlie 9, Uniform, Sierra, Bravo. Roger, roger, I got you coming in 5757 into Northern Illinois. 73, thank you. That was Montana. Antenna is pointing south. And from where I'm at, Montana is pretty far west and north. So it works out pretty well. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'm kind of still getting my ham shack together here. Um, <laughs> I don't want to show you some other parts because I'm still, uh, you know, putting things together. That my go-to antenna from TN07, if you're in an HOA, it works great. I can go out there and I can take just the whip down. I can take the IMD off and that 25 foot line and just leave the two copper rods in there. With the kit for the antenna, it actually comes with these little plastic pieces that you can, you can attach to the bottom of like a birdhouse or something. And you can actually put those on top of the copper rods to hide it even more. If you live in an HOA, the great thing is that there are so many antenna solutions out there now. Uh, TN07 has several of them. Again, I am not endorsed, sponsored. Uh, I just use their stuff and it, it just works amazing. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe. I got more stuff coming out. This is just a, a quick video for, uh, I believe it was PRK um, Radio. Hold on one second. Look at my phone so I don't completely butcher this up. <laughs> KI5PRK Radio, uh, who also has a channel here on YouTube. He asked that I show how I set this up and deploy it in my QTH. I hope this was helpful for you. 73, everybody.